can relate to this. I have this condition, maybe it's more of an affliction, where I have this incessant urge to modify the things around me. Maybe I just have too much free time. Maybe it's an innate desire to control the things around me. Regardless of the reason, I can't help but modify the things around me. Whether it's for functionality or pure aesthetics, everything is fair game. Honestly, I don't feel truly connected to something until I've modified it. And this mentality holds especially true for bikes. Sometimes there's a vision for a whole crazy custom paint scheme, and sometimes it's just as simple as a decal. But often I'll need to live with and ride a bike for a little bit to figure out exactly what it needs. And that's exactly what I've been doing with the Specialized Creo. I know it needs something, but I didn't want it to be too involved. And I also thought it would be cool to have something that I could share with other people so they could modify their rigs. And at this point, I figured out what my three parameters are. The first one, it needs to be something geometric. The second one, they need to be able to be placed anywhere on the bike or on anything. And the third one, I want it to be filtered through my commotion style. These Japanese geometric shapes felt like the right match. They were the right size, the right shape, and they could be placed anywhere. Now imagine these are clear, and instead of black, there's commotion stripes. Oh, and this, this is my anti-theft protection, so that uh, when I park in the city, they, people don't know what it is. They were good on their own, but I wanted to give them the commotion treatment so that they looked a little bit different than the original. After a little blood, sweat, and tears, I think the commotion treatment on these shapes came out exactly as needed. The next step was to figure out how can I distribute these to others? And the solution I came up with was a decal sheet. That way people can put these on anything and everything. Plus I made them in black and white so they can go on any colored surface. Man, I get such a kick out of seeing where people put these things. And of course the biggest honor is when people actually put them on their bikes. So amazing. And there's no right or wrong way to apply these to anything. They're just simple circles, whatever you want. A polka dot pattern, a cluster, a line, anything you can come up with is the right answer. Kick your shoes off and grab a flag, either side and relax. Now I feel like the Creo has officially come into its own. Just the right amount of detail, not too much, not too little. And I'm curious, do you like decorating your bike? If so, how? And if not, why? And if you've got anything you need to decorate, I've still got a few sheets of these black and white on clear Creo Geo sheets. I know it's kind of cheesy, it just, I can't help myself. Creo Geo, it's fun to say. The decal sheet has tricks and tips to get the best results when applying your stickers. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, now might be the time. And until next time, dear friend, I can't wait to see what you come up with with these stickers. It's gonna be so cool, I can't wait. This is Dustin Klein, signing off.